at the end of my last video, I was talking about uh, I had my practice. Uh, I'm going to back up a little bit. I had a woman that come into my practice. I talked about her. And she'd been with me for a couple of few weeks, and I saw that my practice was declining, so I knew that she wasn't the person for me. And, and uh, I went to her and I said, you know, it's time to go. I have a probationary period, which I suggest, a 90-day probationary period when you hire somebody, that you both agree to. And then if there's infractions against what you want done, you just point it out. And for a lot of reasons, that's a good idea. They start to get what you want and how to do what you want. And there had been quite a few infractions, and so I said, and then all I said was, it's just not working out. Anything other than that gives fuel to the fire, and there was a lot of fuel on this fire anyway. And so I just kept going, it's just not working out. Just, you know, here's, here's the evidence. Here's, it just is not what I want anymore. But uh, I started to manage, I started going to a management consulting company and the consultant came in and I was talking to him over lunch and we were talking with my office manager and she said she wanted to talk about my associate doctor and I said, no, I'm not talking about that. And the consultant said, oh, yes, we are. I said, no, that's off limits. He said, no, it's not. He said, you just shifted. He said, your whole body language changed. He said, something's got you upset here. And so we talked and he said, it's not enlightening you. It's not enhancing your business. This is your business. Get rid of it. And, uh, we had been, like I said, friends, and so I uh, didn't really know what I was doing. I went to him and I said, you know, I don't want you to work here anymore, and uh, it was quite a confrontation, so I gave him six weeks off, and that was six weeks of hell. It was awful. Uh, it wasn't good before, but it got, it magnified, and I just will never do that again. Uh, when I let people go, I let them go. They... I give them severance pay if they deserve it and just walk them to the door and then I have the keys changed and, and they're gone. Because I don't want somebody who is that against what I am doing, uh, especially when they know they're not welcome in my clinic. Uh, so what I'm trying to say, if there's somebody that's not working out, either get them to quit or find a way to get rid of them. If you keep statistics, hmm, the phone's ringing. Uh, sometimes that's a great way. I'm going to see if somebody's going to answer that. If not, I'm going to have to. Okay. Um, if you just, and, and that's a little bit of an uncomfortable thing to do, look, you know, you were late two days ago, you know, or you're late this morning, you know, okay, look, when you did this, this is one of the things we don't do in the clinic, right? And you did it. Well, I did it in my last clinic. Okay, we don't do it here. But you mark it down, right, so that they know that you know. And you keep your stats, you keep your focus, and then if they don't want to live by your rules, it's real simple. But the bottom line is if somebody's not working out for you, get rid of them. As quick as you can, as efficiently as you can. If you keep them around, it will cost both of you. Uh, my wife was running her dad's business. It came time when one of the salesmen needed to be let go. She said, I'm going to give him two months. I said, walk him to the door. And she didn't. And in those two months, he gathered all the clients that he had that were actually her father's clients and took them with him. Uh, people will do whatever it takes. People will get mighty ruthless uh, and mean. Uh, Abraham Maslow said, he said, one of the troubles, and I'm really paraphrasing here, uh, with the people in New Age, he said, oh, I love everybody. He said, you know, if it gets down to where something catastrophic happens and you are working just to get your next meal. You might love everybody, love everybody, but it might be for lunch. You might want to eat them. It might get that bad. Uh, human nature, uh, the base of human system is kill or be killed. It's survival. Uh, when things are going well, people treat each other well. Sometimes when it gets bad, they don't. So uh, with the entrepreneurial endeavor, there's no game like it especially if it's a game that alters your awareness, especially if it's a game that's fun for you, especially if it's a game that's creating value for other people. There's, it's worth everything you're going to do to get there. So have fun. See that people see that you have fun. That's the name of the game. Rule number one, the entrepreneur has fun. www.micpeakperformance.com